Hello, welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this example, we're gonna look to two triangle, and they said us complete the congruence statements for the triangle below. So we're looking here and what do we notice? We notice, for ex for instance, that U N and F N are congruent. Why? Because they have the same mark on the sides. Right? I can write this U N congruent with Fn. Does the order matter here? Not really. In this congruent statement, it does not. Well, also, we notice what else? We notice that these two sides are congruent. Why? Because they have the same two marks. So Tf, uh, or in like instead, let's start with Nb better, right? Nb congruent with uh, Ft. And again, the order here does not matter. And we have one more, right? We have one more uh, pair of sides. These two, right? This one and this one. We notice we have three marks. And again, let's be consistent. And I'm going to say UB congruent to TM. And again, the order does not matter. And also, then we notice angles, right? We notice that angle... Uh, B and T are congruent, right? Because they have one mark. Then we have what else? Angle um, M and U. And I'm going to start with U. U and M. And we have one more guy, right? U and M, uh, which is... N, 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 angle N congruent to uh, angle F. Right. Those are the six parts of the triangle, three sides, three angles, which are congruent. You can see in the picture. And now we can write the triangle are congruent. Now, on this statement, you really need to be careful. Okay, let's say you start with B, U, N, right? And congruent to triangle let me let me erase this because I don't have enough space. Okay. So then we say triangle B U N congruent and in the second triangle. You really need to follow the corresponding sides. Eh? So you can look to angles. That is one way. So you get the corresponding sides. T goes with B, N goes with U, and F goes with F. That is a correct way to write. Is this the only one? No. I can switch the things here. Let's say I will say U and B. That will be also congruent, but now you need to be careful here in the second one. So U goes with N, right? Uh, N goes with F and uh, B goes with T. So again, there are multiple ways to write this congruence name and be careful you use the corresponding side. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and come back on C-square for more. Thank you.